Hi, I am David Brucci presenting Dolpy. Dolpy cameras are low-cost polarimetric imagers based on the Raspberry Pi. Like intensity and color, polarization is another property of a light wave. It corresponds to the wave's axis of oscillation. We perceive wavelength as color and amplitude as intensity. But our eyes, for all practical purposes, are insensitive to the orientation of the axis in which the light wave's electrical vector oscillates. Humans cannot sense polarization, but many animals like cuttlefish and insects have polarization-sensitive vision that they use for navigation, finding water, and detecting transparent prey. Dolpy cameras give us the ability to see polarization, and its images can be used to locate landmines, identify cancerous tissues, see underwater, detect invisible pollutants, and who knows, maybe even observe cloaked UFOs. However, the main objective of the, of the Dolpy project is to develop a low-cost polarimetric camera useful for humanitarian demining. This is possible because man-made objects like landmines polarize with reflected light much more than natural items in the background, even when camouflaged or covered by moderate foliage or dirt. While we can understand polarization, we don't have an, an intuitive sense for its use. My secondary objective with Dolpy is to introduce this innovative technology with two very hands-on. Dolpy cameras were developed using two different technologies. Both are self-contained and easy to build. In spite of their simplicity, they hold truly awesome power for the development of brand new scientific and commercial applications. Dolpy Mech is a filter wheel based polarimetric camera. It is slower than the electro-optic version of Dolpy, but produces stricter polarization analysis. In the last few months, it has evolved into a universal imager capable of polarimetry and visualization in the near infrared, visible, and near ultraviolet bands. Inside the Dolpy Universal Imager are two filter wheels rotated by standard hobby servos driven by a native root servo hat for the Raspberry Pi 2. One wheel carries wideband polarizer filters while the other has the infrared, visible, and UV bandpass. Here is a test scene containing an incandescent lamp, some coloring pencils, and a polarization test target. The scene is imaged by Dolpy UI. Polarimetric imaging can be performed by the camera simultaneously with long-wave infrared thermal imaging. On the other hand, the electro-optic Dolpy camera is based on a liquid crystal panel that acts as a voltage-controlled polarization analyzer. The original camera prototype evolved into a productized device that incorporates the new official 7-inch touchscreen. Like the filter wheel camera, Dolpy EO is powered by an external USB battery pack so that it can be used in the field. The Dolpy software can boot automatically or be under uh, manual control. At the heart of the electro-optical Dolpy is a liquid crystal panel harvested from a cheap welding mask filter. The liquid crystal panel shifts the polarization of light as a function of applied RMS voltage. To demonstrate how this works, we'll use Dolpy Visor, in which a modified liquid crystal welding mask filter is AC driven with bursts applied at a rate of 3 Hz. To use the Dolpy Visor, you view the scene through the VCPA with a polarizer film facing you. This is a short video shot through the visor. Objects that produce or reflect polarized light blink when the liquid crystal panel is energized at the rate of 3 Hz. This simple visor, which can be constructed for under $20, is in itself a useful tool for detecting man-made objects within a cluttered natural background. It is obviously good not only for humanitarian demining, but for many other nations. Analysis at two orthogonal polarization states does not suffice for a complete linear analysis, so the Dolpy camera acquires three images at 0 degrees, 45 degrees, and 50 degrees. 
With no voltage applied, the liquid crystal panel rotates the polarization of light by 90 degrees, while no rotation is introduced at RMS voltages above 4 volts. However, driving the VCPA midway between the two inflection points does not cause true 45 degree rotation, but in the absence of circularly polarized light, this pseudo 45 degree analysis works. In the Dolby camera, an auto calibration circuit finds the right liquid crystal drive amplitudes to analyze at 0, 45, and 90 degrees. During auto calibration, a blue LED shines light through a 45 degree polarizer to find the optimal drive amplitude for the pseudo 45 degree setting. The Dolby driver circuit is built as a raspy hat. The camera, voltage control polarization analyzer, and auto calibration components reside in their own 3D printed enclosure. Detailed instructions for the construction of these polarimetric imagers are presented in the project's 130 page white paper. All hardware and software are freely available and are completely open source. Let's now look at software. Dolby's Python Imaging Loop takes the polarized images and then combines them into a single color picture that encodes polarization. For example, these nine pieces of polarizer film all look the same to a human eye, but they look very different through Dolby. The polarization angle, degree of polarization, and polarization intensity are encoded in HSV space, making the picture easy to interpret. Here we have a sample scene shot in my basement. Nothing is backlit. Dolby encodes the angle of polarization of polarized light as color, while it removes all color from non-polarized light. Dolby can go one step further, showing only polarized light. Dolby software can also calculate and display all stokes and polarimetric parameter images. This is important for applications such as cancer cell detection, where differentiating cells is done by looking at the way in which they shift the polarization state of polarized light. One of the electro-optic Dolby shortcomings is that it cannot differentiate 45 degree linearly polarized light from that with circular polarization. Dolby Mech can tell the two apart. As shown here, however, given the rarity of circularly polarized light in nature, this drawback is not important for the vast majority of applications. Dolby's major current drawback is its lack of speed. High frame rate is necessary for autonomous vehicle navigation applications. Currently, Dolby speed is limited to around 4 frames per second. Fortunately, this is not a problem in most medical, environmental, and humanitarian demining applications. For finding other practical applications, we can turn to evolution for help. In this simulation, two ultra-secret triangular aircraft fly overhead and seen under cloak. However, Dolby spots them with ease, just like octopuses can spot transparent shrimp. Changes in polarization state are stronger when light passes through stress regions in transparent materials. Dolby can thus be used for real-time inspection of glass panes and pharmaceutical bottles. All across the spectrum, polarimetric imaging can really make a difference in improving detectability. Here, for example, a tank in thermal equilibrium with its environment is invisible to a standard thermal camera, but becomes visible once polarization information is added. Without question, the most important application for Dolby is humanitarian demining. Landmines and unexploded ordnance pose a threat in nearly 80 countries around the world. Fortunately, there are no abandoned landmines in suburban New Jersey where I live, so testing has been limited so far to detecting imitation landmines placed in simulating surroundings. As shown by TNO, polarimetric images indicate landmines very clearly, so Dolby's low cost would make it an ideal tool for use to rid the world of landmines and unexploded ordnance. Eliminating landmine casualties will give hope to those who have endured the cruelty of war and promote peace and prosperity. It is my hope that Dolby will open the obscure field of polarization imaging so that fellow Hackaday fans will be able to develop game-changing applications across a wide range of fields, spanning all the way from environmental monitoring and medical diagnostics to security and anti-terrorism applications. For the complete white paper containing detailed construction information, please visit www.diyphysics.com. Thank you.